Why do objects make us feel the way they do? A similar configuration of plastic parts can bring out such significant emotions. What triggers nostalgia? Is it more that we need to have a memory associated with a specific object, or do the object's time of origin alone bring back memories from those times in our lives? My mom recently found my old Thomas the Tank Engine train set. When I think back on my childhood, Thomas wasn't my favorite toy as a kid, but when this set was brought to me, all I could feel was nostalgia. I was taken back to a time where my mind built worlds out of the smallest seed, where this one train was enough to start to sew together an amazing story. But gone are those times when my imagination took a simple action and turned it into a grand act of magic and wonder. It's strange, but as we gain more information with age, we seem to lose our ability to imagine. You'd think it'd be the opposite. With all these new ideas, you could shape grander worlds and scenarios, but there's a trade-off. Knowledge taints our imaginations and limits our ability to truly immerse ourselves. We know it's not real. This train set, which now just presents itself as trains instead of a mystical world, makes me feel nostalgic. And even though I can't be transported into a magical wonderland, I think this feeling's enough. But nostalgia is much more than just a longing for imagination. This is just what I associate with this set of wooden trains. It can be about any experience you've had in the past. But it's important to not get too bogged down by the past. As a matter of fact, this very moment will become nostalgic in a few years time. The past isn't any more special than the present. Nostalgia in this case is cherishing the memory of my wild imagination. That imagination is still in there, just buried in lived experiences. Thank you, Thomas, for all the memories. See you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe.